Good afternoon. Uh, I'm honored to be here today with other um, company East executives to share our global strategy to you. Um, well, um, here's what we are going to talk about today. My name is Xin Yuan and I'm part of the management team at Company E. Our company consists of five united and collaborative employees who work hard to ensure our company thrives. Today, we will be discussing our company's performance and how we have achieved this. In year 12, we earned, we earned 237,000 in net profit. Our camera market share was 27.4% um, and our drone market share was 28.8%. We have an A credit rating and an 86 demand rating. All of these achievements were made possible by our effort to re reduce product costs, improve margins, reduce labor costs, and operate our facilities at maximum capacity. We believe that these efforts are helping us to achieve our goals, and we are proud of our company's continued growth and progress. In initial years, we are not good for. Um, in, in initial years, they are not good for us in terms of our uh, game scores. However, we have learned from our mistakes, start to pay attention to the problems that we before ignored, become, and, and we become more united in order to overcome difficulties we face and continue to drive the company to improve in all areas. This is due to our effort to improve our earnings per share, ROE, and share price. Now, let's take a closer look at our strategy and how we achieve this result. Well, initially, we wanted to develop high-end products, the kind of high-end products that are used in big races like cross-country races. And we have targeted performance character characteristics such as the world's best drone, DJI, which is aimed at a high-end customer base. Um, well, we plan to um, less focus on North America because it's with uh, restric restrictions on drones. Um, and we also want to focus on Asian Pacific less because there are less restrictions, mainly in China, because China has the largest consumer country, uh, because the China is the largest consumer country and there have many consumers, vast area, beautiful scenery, strong consumption ability, good tourism trend, many commercial activities, large needs of, uh, there are large needs of drone performances such as um, um, triathlon, uh, cross-country race, dragon boat race, mastering, students' athletic meetings. Mm, well, Asian Pacific region is more likely to accept new things and new technology. Europe and the United States is more important um, to the privacy of, of people. Well, we also plan to focus on Europe and, Af and, and Africa because there are more uh, ecological filming. Uh, it can promote wildlife protection. Um, also, we think about less focus on Latin America because um, the overall consumption level of Latin America is low and we just can only target special groups. Um, so, as, 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 so at the beginning, we plan to um, commit to the, uh, to the high-end product um, that is focused on the high-end groups, uh, such as um, those commercial activities and uh, professional competition groups. Um, but then, as the other competitors, uh, their, strat their strategy changed and further reduced the cost and the price of their company. We began to, um, we, we began to um, respond to, to their changes. Mm. Like we want to differentiate our approach from others and uh, still uh, make a profit at the same time. So we choose between selling low growth uh, so, we be, so we choose between selling low-grade stuff cheaply and improving the quality of our products and finally adjust our strategy to a low-cost strategy as a slice show. This is the uh, strategy change of our company. Uh, the direction of our focus as well as the vision was also changed as shown. And now let's manage to 
uh, proceed to the next part of our company. I think she already done that part, so it's good. <laughs> How'd you do? Uh, I this no, how time. did she do? Did you do your part all right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, I just uh, uh, I'm just talking about the initial plan and the uh, changes in in the in the midterm, and this is the uh, our final uh, strategy and the vision that the uh, two decided. So I only uh, talk about my part. Okay. That's why she just don't know this. Yeah. All right. So for product and marketing strategy. Basically, our psychology was kind of like, the product psychology was kind of like not delivering a product that would mostly like be like obtainable to a lot of people, but it would be like an overall, uh, a good like quality product, but at not a crazy cost. So we had to find our marketing position, like where do we stand compared to everybody else. And you know, like that's our idea. We don't want to do like a super low cost, but like you can't make a premium product and expect it to like have like good net revenue and other things. So. That's when they come. That's when we get to marketing to focus. Our target audience, as you know, it's a demographic who like find value in these things. So obviously, like this is when it comes like the markets, which she already mentioned, like where these like products do better. So okay. yeah, and then getting those products out to these audiences, go through channels. What we had to do, on, like at least what we did, was prioritize like online channels and shift the way we get as a consumer because originally when we first started it wasn't doing too well so we had to change something we had to see what are the other people doing and how can we compete with them in, a, in order to make it somewhat competitive which gets us to product tweaks product tweaks basically is what we had to do a bunch of them we started with a product that wasn't so good you know we started off at a little rough start but as we will see later it gets better and better throughout the years basically we have to somehow stay competitive what are the people doing what are people leaning towards why does company blank have majority of the share? So it's kind of just studying what they're doing. And after doing that, we get to strategies that we had to use, like promotional strategies wise, which is basically, almost, I don't want to say every channel, but a lot of the channels, if I want to like summarize it in a faster way, it's basically just like putting more money towards things in order to see results. Because if not, you could have a really good product, but if you don't have good channels to get them through, sure. we're not getting sales, we're not getting revenue. Overall, we're just not reaching the goals that are met by the investors. And then, this all ties back, product tweaks and feedback loops, so basically the same thing. One year we go, we move on, and then the next year we're gonna see, okay, what do we do, what worked out good? What if we, maybe we put more money into the website display info, and now we have more sales and the ROE is higher. So maybe we wanna keep doing that, and maybe try something else next year. See like if it affects there, if we're getting like some more results, are they consistent or not? And, um, Yeah, that's nice. So we're <laughs> shifting that strategy. Before we were looking for a best cost strategy, but now we want a low cost strategy. So for this, we have to not only reduce fixed costs, but also reduce the cost per unit so we can get a higher margin per unit sold. So we were thinking about it, like how do we reduce this manufacturing cost? Like do we outsource to, you know, underdeveloped countries where we can get cheaper labor? But then again, we don't want to lose the quality. So for this, we decided to not do overtime because overtime workers would not gonna give us you know, the same quality that we wanted. So for this, we wanted to use technological advancements, especially because we are talking about drones that require a lot of innovation and a lot of technology. So we decided to use technology to reduce the time it takes us to make each drone so we have a higher output. And we also increase our wages within reason and provided incentives so that employees feel more committed, they feel more motivated to stay in the workplace because also employee turnover was gonna be a huge cost, given all our plans to like give improvements to the product. So we decided to keep the employees happy as part of our vision. And we decided to work towards a more positive work um, workplace so that they all felt like they could pitch in with new ideas. Um, which is part of our core values, like loyalty and team collaboration. So in order to follow the low cost strategy from years nine to 12, which is the period that we really wanna reduce those costs, we um, decided to offer actions that could improve the supply chain process and process innovations. So we also tried to improve our distribution methods, 
in order to improve the firm's assembly capacity and reduce the operating cost, which is what's going to give us a higher margin. So yeah, and um, for competent, com compensation and labor strategy, uh, we decided to increase our base wage um, of our workers and be able to, again, retain their talent um, without you know incurring overtime fees, which was gonna be more expensive in the long term. Um, so we tried to do this without compromising our earnings per share, because if we were increasing too much these values, we would also compromise our earnings per share, which is like, we also owe to our stakeholders and it's gonna keep us growing. So um, we decided to also implement an attendance bonus of a thousand per worker to ensure um, employee retention. And this is vital for our um, cost leadership strategy, again, because of the employee turnover and the community that we're building being that we're just starting out. So these best practices allowed us to increase our assembly capacity, which is a work in progress that we're trying to see what's gonna be like in five years or more years as we continue to expand our market abroad. So um, again, we believe that motivated employees will continue to increase our productivity and thus uh, boost our sales and increase our market share. So um, now for our corporate citizenship strategy, this is also important given our commitment to care about social responsibility because this has a direct impact on how customers are gonna perceive us. So we wanna make sure that we have a positive image, especially against you know competitors that are coming in. But also given that we're trying to reduce costs, we had to really think about like what a good value would be for this. So for years, nine to 12, we're having to make some adjustments. Like for example, uh, the charitable contributions and renewable energy programs where implemented, but we had to really like keep a good balance because this could not affect our operating profit, which is vital, especially now that we wanna increase our um, output per month. So um, we wanna make sure that we have a good brand image and reputation as well as customer loyalty, but also we have to reduce costs so that we can gain a higher margin. So for this reason, we're still gonna um, continue with our compliance with the supplier cost of conduct because this is gonna have an impact on how our employees perceive us and their productivity. So therefore, this is important for our values and our committee um, as an organization. So yeah, we're gonna keep those efforts going on for the next months to come. Yeah, it's my financial uh, strategy. Our intelligent financial strategy is similar and lies with the coverage goals and the cornerstone uh, of our whole states of approach. Medicus captures uh, structured calibration blends equity and the debit for the energy. I'll shift to the part of definition strategic uh, equities uh, resource to innovate, innovation creating cutting edge village. Synergies uh, between finance and the marketing amplify innovation and have enhancing market position. Potence liquidity uh, profiles against the industry's challenge, ensuring Inso operational, flexible, and uh, safeguarding score strengths. This comprehensive strategy propels us towards a seat, harmonizing uh, finance, uh, financial profiles with business object. So, uh, this is my. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to add um, while we're on financial strategy, basically, the well, just cover the things around the slide and show to the part of the funding and allocation. So basically for the funding, we didn't, really like, we didn't have to take out any loans or anything like that, it's crazy. So for most of the funding is money that's just being reinvested in this case. And um, So from your profits? Correct. Okay. So the short and the short term growth, the short term goals are basically just to boost sales and get a larger audience, but long term goal is also to just like keep that and gain more market share throughout the years. And then um, as a result, like throughout the years, while well, Carla already mentioned and Carl also mentioned, so uh, the strategy we're implementing seems to be having positive feedback if we are getting like better and better results. And maybe, you know, it's not from year seven to eight that we're having crazy mass growth. But with time, I feel like Girl. if we kept going, we'd probably maybe end up growing and maybe possibly having a larger market share. Gotcha. So,
uh, in the realm of the fierce competition, signifies emerge as a leader with an uh, impressed IE score of 115, driven by the cost e efficient production of the uh, efficiency and marketing in the entry level cameras needs. Europex closely follow with the ID score of one uh, one fourteen, excelling in the innovation and the premium footage for the multiple feature uh, camera demands. Signifies budget friendly approach, uh, capture the budget cons uh, concession audience. Security is John uh, John Holt, while Europex and emphasis and uh, innovation uh, re resonated with the cutting edge seeker. Uh, both giant showcase adopted uh, trailing uh, strategies to market uh, segment and the regional's per, uh, per preference, underlining and the significance of strategy enlightenment and the flexibility in meeting involvement uh, cus uh, consumer demands. Their journey highlights the their art driving at the dynamic competition. Our journey as an e-company has been dynamic innovations, responding to the market shift and the competitor insight. Initially, we prioritize com competitive pricing, but as the markets crave innovation, we embrace different uh, different mission. This this trend also sees as the cutting edge camera footage increase sell and the loyalty. Premium pricing uh, amplifies finance, financial uh, performance, extracting value from our ship. Looking forward, we embrace in we embrace a uh, twin strategy in innovation and uh, uh, sustainability. We uh, we will en enhance products while in intending uh, eco-friendly products, create a uh, catering uh, to conscious customer and elevating with global change. Our commitment to innova inno innovation and the ethic set us apart, Ham harmonizing advanced tech with environment responsibility. Right, so, conclusion, if anybody wants to add anything, also feel free to add it, because I feel like I might forget stuff. So. Um, basically, reflecting on our journey, I feel like it was like, you know, a couple of weeks or a couple of years in this case, it was like basically just going over, trying to work on the product and see what we can do better. And it definitely it did take us a bit to, you know, figure out what we can do better, how to improve it, how to like see those changes in the market and what we could do. And then um, as we, I mean, we just like we got better. Maybe that's just my opinion, but <laughs> like our outcomes and achievements could also like in this case be, you know, I don't know, I think it was a whole growth thing, you know. You know, we had a slow start, but we kind of like got a hang of it. and. Um, I feel like that's an achievement, you know, like maybe we're not winning, but I feel like steady growth is also a good sign. And I feel like we're never, most of the time, maybe we weren't meeting the goals, but I feel like we weren't super far off, like crazy far off any of the time. That's good. So that's just like, you know, gratitude. It was like, I'm glad everybody's able to come together. That we are, not just means everybody, but glad everybody's able to come together, you know, work on the project and come to a consensus, you know, because five people working on something. You know, people buy, not butt heads, but have different opinions on how to approach things. And, you know, oh. it's a trial and error thing, working, you know, as a group. Because somebody might have an idea, and other people might have another idea, and they can both be good, but they can both have different outcomes. And they're just trying to find out ways of options. Gotcha. And, you know, looking ahead, I feel like Lobos, you know, definitely gave us, like, some sort of, like, experience, like, experience where it's, like, you know, all this simulation, it's, like, it had very, like, real factors to it. At least I, I felt like that. You know, like, I don't know, a lot of the market things and, you know, how, not market things, like, the competitors, I feel like it just made it more realistic because it's not like we're competing with, like, robots, we're competing with other classes, seeing what they were, like, seeing what they were doing, and I don't know how that affects our score. It's kind of like, you know, you're not just playing against a computer. So I feel like definitely, like, good value in, in it, and I feel like everybody can probably, like, agree with me. And if anybody wants to add anything, feel free to say anything if I'm forgetting stuff for this part. But, just thank you for not giving a fight out of town. I like doing something more hands on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I go along with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> now, let me to present the lessons learned um, from the global um, simulations and the practice have taught us um, a valuable lessons. 
in applying classroom teaching to a real world uh, business. Mm. And Globus have added important lessons in teamwork, choosing strategy, and uh, running a company of us. It has a great um, benefit of our future development and uh, uh, capacity strengthening. Uh, if we summarize uh, our lessons learned well. Um, well, firstly, uh, we learned about the complex, uh, complexity of running a business in reality because um, the games is more easier than the reality and uh, um, we are able to um, respond and adjust um, uh, and analyze those data on, on, the, on the computer but in reality world is um, reality financial world is more uh, it's, 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 it's more um, difficult um, and um, however even it's it is easier on the um, on our computer we still encounter the difficulties and the globus taught us how to work as a team and the true strategy and the run company it connected uh, what we have learned in the classroom and showed showed us how every little thing related to the um, whole company and um, and affect the operation of the whole company uh, and the second one mm -hmm. um, uh, I think it's it's very uh, it's very um, important for us to have effective communication and co col uh, collaboration and uh, um, conflict resolution because at the um, for the first few years we did a poor job of working as a team um, but after that we just push uh, each of us to have clear and uh, open communication and uh, um, and well. Conflict is um, inevitable in teams, especially when different members have different opinions on strategies and decisions. Um, but um, we learned really hard that it's critical to deal with conflict um, constructively and uh, collaboratively. Um, and uh, um, and finally, we know to uh, we need to work as a team and uh, make a decision as a team. Uh, finally, we also found that each team members have their own unique strengths and we're working together using those strengths uh, mm, as a key to, um, to gain our um, growth of the team. Thirdly, uh, we must have a mm, clear and effective strategy to get our decision and uh, actions. Mm, and the strategy must be flexible enough to adapt to changing those situations, those, those different situations. We also need to monitor and evaluate our performance on a regular basis and take a proactive action when necessary. Because the market landscape change, uh, because the mar the market landscape change, change, changes from year to year. Sometimes uh, our strategy needs to be revised more quickly. Uh, this journey has impressed upon us the importance of remaining flex flexibility and adaptable and uh, adaptability in our work. And, and uh, the fourth point. Mm. Well, we didn't mm, take very serious, seriously at the first. Mm. We just spent on meeting invest, uh, investor expectations and uh, concentrating on our own products. So we didn't analyze our competitors and uh, um, their prices and their data. But when we start to take it uh, seriously by observing their strategies, success, and failures, we gain a clear understanding of the market dynamics. However, with the benefit of hindsight, uh, we realize that we could have used this data more um, pro proactively to, uh, 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 to anticipate uh, market movements and adjust our own strategy. We also learned the value of, of the uh, stock repurchases. We found that uh, buying back our own stock was a great way to improve the financial mem uh, numbers of earnings per share and the uh, return on equity. Um, well, uh, as you know, our financial data is not very good at first. Also, financial management is very important in business operations. We must carefully manage our finance by keeping track of revenues, expense, financial ratios, and the investments. Um, and the next point, engaging with customers and the gathering feedback is also very crucial. 
their insights help us understand not only product um, preferences, but also uh, broader market trends. We recognize the importance of not only collecting feedbacks, but also acting on it uh, quickly. Um, Long-term vision versus uh, short-term gains. We sometimes just focus too much on the immediate results, which occasionally um, detracts from our long-term goals. The balance between the short-term gains, uh, sh the short-term gains and long-term vision is very critical, and we have learned to um, place equal importance on them both to get a better results of our company. Um, balancing quality and price. Last one. Our goal of providing a first-class product um, at a reasonable price is a double-edged sword. Mm, while we are committed to, to this, managing costs while maintaining high standards is a, is a big challenge for us. This has led us to recognize the importance of efficient supply chain management uh, and being cost um, um, and, and being cost saving. Well, um, these are the eight um, lessons that we learned in the whole semester in the Globus. Um, well, uh, there are valuable lessons um, we have learned a lot. Yes, um, our results were not the best, but um, uh, and, and, and we could have done better. But we are still proud of our accomplishment and the growth of uh, our um, team. Um, these lessons will stay with us for the rest of our careers, and we are often um, thankful for the time that we spend with Globus and the professor in this semester. <laughs> mm, with so many lessons learned, we are also grateful for the opportunity to learn them in a safe and supportive environment. Thank you so much. Sure. There's a couple more slides. I'm going to skip the normal questions so you guys did already. But it's just like basic our numbers throughout the years. And right. I want to say for the majority of them, they mostly all go up. It's a good sign. It's a good this sign. One. Right. This one, it's not the better for you either. And then, um, yeah, but usually they mostly go up. And then, all right, usually there's other teams, so we clap. All right, have a seat.